For more on the weather story, I'll send it back inside to you. Thank you so much, Mike. And now we're starting to see those thunderstorm watches and even warnings creeping into the GTA. So it has begun. As I tweeted out, let the games begin. This is low pressure that's coming in from a complex, it's a mesoscale convective system. What that basically means, it's a complex of thunderstorms in clusters moving through. Intense lightning being one of, if not the biggest threat associated with the weather system today. So the severe thunderstorm watch now throughout much of southern Ontario. We even saw some warnings now in Hamilton. And this is from a short time ago with the lightning. Look at that, the frequency of the lightning. And this could again be the case later today. In terms of timing on this, 3, 4 p.m. appears to be the time frame where we may see the worst of the weather just lining up, possibly a squall line right along the 401. The type of weather where you will have to pull over to the side of the road for fear of hydroplaning, put on your hazards and wait for the heaviest rain to pass. And the timing of it will probably be around the time that you're picking your kids up from school. So current weather now across Atlantic Canada, we're dealing. You're absolutely right, Chris. I mean, this situation is one where we have a lot of upper level support. So the jet stream is digging mm -hmm. in. We also have that ridge of high pressure off to the north and west. So the combination of the two things is resulting in and certainly more intensification uh, stateside, especially with the center of the low pressure. And the upper level instability is helping to bring lots and lots of rainfall, especially down into the uh, Waterton Park area. That's the zone like Pincher Creek, Crow's Nest Pass, that region seems to be the bullet for in excess of 130 millimeters of rain. So yes, indeed, we're looking at all of these factors coming together. There are some similarities to what we saw this time last year when it was the upslope flow then partially it was last year the snow melt, of course, on top of it all in Canmore that led to the Bow River and the problems we had in Calgary. This situation is further to the south, still watching it very closely. Clearly, we have rainfall warnings in place from Environment Canada, talking about the excessive amounts of rain, the impact of this likely to be felt over the next coming days. So this is It's raining now, but it's a slow rise in those river levels, uh, especially further to the south of Calgary. But we have the risk of storms in Saskatchewan, watching that too. But the biggest rains, and we're talking about 60, and notice it's 100 plus, 100 plus millimeters. Some cases could go 130, 140. The Old Man River and the Highwood River, those are the regions further to the south that we'll have the biggest concerns for. So certainly Lethbridge, Pincher Creek, High River, again, uh, could potentially be dealing with some overland flooding in the coming days. Speaking of a lot of rainfall, Fort Mount Forest, Ontario, huge downpours have come through. Chris was talking about this at the, at the beginning of the segment, about all the intense lightning, the heavy downpours, and it is only phase one. And if we pull out from that radar that Chris was showing us and see the totality of this low pressure system, this complex of storms, you can see that that's what's happening for us now. There is another round that could potentially come through. And yet again, on the sort of more so in the afternoon, right in this zone, we could potentially be dealing with a squall line setting up right in line with the 401 later this afternoon. Intense lightning, thousands of lightning strikes. Look at that. It's just so intense. And now warnings down toward Hamilton. We're really starting to see things ramping up with regard to watches and warnings. So this is the watch. We don't do maps for warnings because they change so quickly. We do have the severe weather threat throughout the day. We're of course, I've been calling these shorts my storm watch shorts all morning long, so I'm going to stick with them no matter what Mother Nature can throw at me as the rain starts to pick up once again. For more on the weather story and what we can expect as we move further through today, let's send it back inside of the studio. All uh, right, Mike. Well, I've heard of socks and sandals, <laughs> not shorts and rubber boots, but I love it. I love it. I think it looks fantastic on you. Uh, let's take a look at our thunderstorm risk. Severe weather. That is the threat for today. Normally, when we talk about severe weather, we're you know, talking thunderstorms and hail and possible tornadoes. Frankly, tornadoes, we'll put that on the back shelf. It's always a possibility, but that's not the biggest threat that we're dealing with today. Lightning. Lightning safety is number one today, especially later this afternoon as we potentially have a squall line on our hands in the mid-afternoon, right in line with when you're picking your kids up from school. So timing-wise, this is not great. And for those of you who leave the office early, you may be running into some heavy, heavy downpours and intense lightning, so you want to definitely be seeking shelter. Tomorrow, there is a risk of weather across southern Ontario, but largely 
you know, mostly non-severe. We could see a few cells, but today we're fairly certain we're going to be getting a massive situation this afternoon with intense lightning and potentially, dare, dare I say, life-threatening weather we're talking about. Locally, higher amounts in thunderstorms when we see all of that precipitation coming our way. In terms of winds, it's a, well, we've drawn this on as a low pressure system for simplicity's sake, but this is a mesoscale conv convective system, and MCS. It's a complex of thunderstorms all within. You know, Chris at the top was talking about Dave Sills putting out that picture of the cloud tops, and in some cases we saw through Midwestern Ontario here earlier, some cloud tops that were approaching 40, 45,000 feet. So that is getting above the level that most of us fly when we're in airplanes. I mean, we're talking about huge, huge verticals. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with. In Absolutely, Chris. I mean, you and I know we were in the same meteorological briefing today. Rarely do we hear our briefers talk about the severe weather threat with such a, um, an ominous tone. I mean, we're used to talking about severe weather, but in this particular case, there was a different tone to it. And that's possibly because we're going to be seeing some severe weather for a very huge population center later today. So keep this in mind. And Chris Scott tweeting out those storm cells. This is first round. This is not the, all of the system. We still have much more to come later this afternoon. Severe thunderstorm watches now posted from Environment Canada. These are fairly recent, but again, you can see it's a large swath of the south of the province, and we have had intense lightning. Clearly, thousands of lightning strikes. Look at that. And also, look what's happening here back up into um, Michigan. Yep, yeah, it's coming over Lake Huron, too. So there's a lot of lightning with this. In fact, speaking of lightning, let's talk about lightning safety tips at this point. You want to stay away from water. Make sure that you're safe in your car and seek shelter. If you're outdoors, that would be in a low-lying area. Late tea times today, probably not advisable. We have severe weather upon us by later today. I was just tweeting out the fact that this is likely to happen around the time that you're picking up your kids from school. And I'm just about to re respond to a tweet about Brampton saying, well, what time you know, is it going to be 3, 3.30? Probably two challenging to say exactly what moment, what minute it's going to happen, but let's say between three and four at this point looks to be the bulleted uh, area or timing, I should say, on what could be a squall line approaching the GTA. This is one of those situations that will change minute by minute. So one moment it's fine and the next minute is absolutely a downpour with intense lightning. At the first sign of lightning, you definitely want to be seeking shelter, okay? Let's take a look at our conditions. Now that low pressure system does move into the Maritimes. Sounds like a plan. Thank you very much, Deb. We appreciate that update. Looking at our warnings, they are in place from Environment Canada. Also now have creeped into the Elk Valley of BC. The rainfall totals will be very high across the south. 60 to 100 plus millimeters of rain. This will likely be a two, at least two day rain event across southern Alberta. Risk of storms with this in southern Saskatchewan too. And we'll be watching the southern basins predominantly over the coming days for increased water levels and possibly overland flooding too. Flood watches are posted, no warnings just yet in Alberta. Back to the Ontario story, thunderstorm watch in place. Our digital writer Andrea Bagley just posted an article about some golfers injured in southern Ontario due to the lightning and storms that we've already had and that was only round one so you can I'll tweet that out in a moment to that link at Cheryl Pluff is my Twitter handle let's take a look at lightning safety tips and I think this is really the biggest thing that we're going to be concerned with as the afternoon progresses we're mobilizing our teams to continue our storm watch coverage past two o'clock we're going to be up in Exeter uh, as an example and we'll have different teams all over the province to cover this so definitely want to be mindful of lightning safety that's number one is there a potential for tornadoes there was a tornado signature on some of the storm cells over Lake Michigan a while back also a heat advisory in place down through the extreme southwest we're talking humidex readings in the high 30s so a lot of things going on here this is radar we're talking about intense rain at times moderate and heavy rains further north on the Bruce Peninsula so there's a, there are a lot of factors coming into play with this. A mesoscale convective system that has moved in from overnight from the U.S. Midwest. There were tornado warnings associated with this in Chicago. And we're going to go right now to Kincardine. Take a look at the conditions there. Some viewer video sent in from the area of the heavy rainfall that came through. Thank you, Mary, for sending that in. If you want to send us photos and videos, you can download 
the Weather Network app from your favorite app store so that you can easily take those videos only if it's safe to do so and send them to us. If you have questions for us, you can also turn the camera onto yourself, ask the question, and we'll do our best to answer it for you. Severe thunderstorm risk today and tomorrow across southern Ontario.